All right, I wanna show you a couple of things from the show before we really start to dig into one particular episode. Okay, these are just like little brief snippets we're gonna go through, just to give you an idea of what kind of flavor it puts out there as far as Christianity is concerned. I'm glad you came back. I needed to get my parking validated. So your items were never recovered? No. Earlier you said that the items weren't that important, yet now you seem very upset that they're gone. Well, I'm a walking paradox, what can I say? Sometimes we need to lose something before we can understand its value. I didn't lose anything. No, no, you were the victim of a crime. It's only natural that you would feel violated. And often our feelings of loss connect to how we feel about who we are. Oh, right, so we're back on that, are we? You want to talk about my identity? Yes, because you're the devil. You told me your names, but you left out a few others. Abaddon, Balliol, Prince of Darkness. Someone's been brushing up on their Sunday school. Yes, but before you fell, you were known as Samael, the Lightbringer. I don't go by that name anymore. That was a name that connotated your father's love for you. <laughs> right. Was casting his son into hell also an expression of his love? No, God didn't cast you out of heaven because he was angry with you. How can you presume to know God's intentions? No, I don't. I can't. Then maybe stick within the limits of your intellectual capacity. Or maybe my simplicity offers me a different perspective. God cast you out because he needed you to do the most difficult of jobs. It was a gift. Gift? He shunned me. He vilified me. He made me a torturer. Can you even begin to fathom what it was like? Eons spent providing a place for dead mortals to punish themselves. I mean, why do they blame me for all their little failings, as if I'd spent my days sitting on their shoulder, forcing them to commit acts they'd otherwise find repulsive? Oh, the devil made me do it! I have never made any one of them do anything! Never! What happened to you is unfair. Unfair? This is unjust. For all eternity, my name will be invoked to represent all their depravity. That is the gift that my father gave me. It was an act of love. How do you know? Because you are his favorite son, Samael. Do not call me that, please. You are his fallen angel. But here's the thing, when angels fall, they also rise. All you have to do is embrace all that you are. I can't. Yes, you can. You just have to be open to the process. You don't understand. I can't. But why? Because I stole them from me, you... So you just seen a session that he had with his therapist. A lot of things came out, a lot of things about him and how he views his relationship between God and how she views it. And they're mixing a lot of, you know, truth and error. Mm -hmm. One of the things that came out was a name, Samael. And so I thought, hmm, that's kind of curious because she called it like the light bearer. And I was like, what, I never what heard is that, that name? I've never heard that name before. Mm -hmm. Where does that come from? And so I was, I was digging, I found out it's a Hebrew name. And so here's what it actually means. It means venom of God, poison of God, or blindness of God. Ooh, wow. It does not mean what they were making it to mean. They're wow. kind of mixing the Hebrew name with the Greek meaning mm -hmm. uh, Lucifer, so. right? There's a lot there, though, that I think we need to bring out that yeah. is just disturbing in and of itself. Basically, making the claim that God was the one that forced him out. Mm -hmm. He did nothing to get mm -hmm. caused that. Mm -hmm. Yet, he's the one that caused all that dissension in heaven. So, yes. it's once again shifting the blame back on God. It has nothing to do with him. I find it very interesting, like in that video we watched before, how he is the a pastor's son. So, he's very aware of all of this terminology. If you're literally grown up in Christendom and... I mean, how can you say that out of your mouth and not question, wow, this is really putting a lot of blame on God, yeah. you know? Money I mean, talks, man. Right? Yeah. So, yeah, he was saying, like, people do all their things on their own. They, they blame the devil, but they do it on their own. There's, like, what you're saying, like, a little bit of truth There's to that. There's truth to that. But who was the one that said, did God say? Right. He Taste caused the, the first he has an influence. Yeah. Yeah, certainly he can't force us, yeah. but he definitely has influence. Mm. And so that, that goes along with this name, Samael, right? In the Talmud, this is the angel of death and engineered the fall of Adam and Eve. So we definitely know who we're talking about here. Mm. And in Gnostic literature, this name is the one who planted the tree of knowledge and tempted Adam to sin. Oh, wow. He's also the one that marries Lilith. Does that name ring a bell to you? Yeah. Oh yeah. So in Gnostic literature, Lilith is the one, I thought this was interesting, they have a child between them. And you know what the child's name is? Adam. Osmodius. Osmodius, interesting, which is one of the names of the demons yeah. in, in the Lesser Key of Solomon. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it clearly oh, states wow. all the people that they've they've met the demons and know their names. That's where that comes from. Osmodius is one of them. Yeah. And he wow. actually pops up in movies. There was a movie mm -hmm. called um, um, The Watchman. Osmandius mm -hmm. is yeah. really Osmodius. 
Um, a lot of the Jokers that we've seen in Batman and stuff like that, that's our Osmodeus. And in Spawn, Love. they had an Osmodeus-like character. Right. Yeah. So that's who we're talking about. That's what that name actually means, not kind of the twist that they put on in the show. 